You know, something that is, it's so incredible when you have an agent on the other end of the transaction that you know, like, and trust, it, it makes things go so smooth. And it's great when you can talk with your client and say, oh, I, you know, Daniel's on the other side of this. This is going to go great. Yep. This is awesome. This feels so good. It, it, it feels like it just, it does put us all on the same team. Mm-hmm. And I, and I think that that's such an important thing for like the consumer to know is that when you have agents that are all on the same team, I mean, you're going to win. Right. You know, every, mm-hmm. everyone's going to win. It's going to be fun. It's going to be good. And we may go through some hard things, but we're yeah. going to get to the other side of it and it's going to be good. Versus having somebody who has the mindset of like that scarcity mindset where they don't have enough business or they're, you know, they're just doing things maybe in a way that we don't practice. It's going to be a hard, it's going to be a hard go. It's going to be tough. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be rough. <laughs> yeah. And th- I mean, we talked about this a little bit the last time. It's just people are so combative in nature. It's just like, I just don't understand like why, like we're all trying to do the same thing here. Right. You We're know? on the same team. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, right. it's just your buyer wants to buy. My my seller wants to sell or vice versa. And that's right. another thing we'll talk uh, talk about vocabulary too. My buyer, my seller is a is like a pet peeve of mine. And anybody that I work with, it always like they, like Robin knows not to call his clients my buyers and my sellers because it creates like a us versus them kind of mm-hmm. mentality when you talk mm-hmm. to people like that. And that was something that I learned from Nancy. Mm-hmm. You know, it was like one of the first things she told me. She's like, she's they're not your buyer. You, you don't own them. Right. You know, they're working with you, mm-hmm. but, and, and, and I just didn't get it at first, but she explained to me, like when you go to somebody and like you say, uh, my, you know, my buyer wants these, you know, repairs and your seller needs to do this. It just creates this mm-hmm. right kind yeah, of, yeah. Just even hearing you say right. that makes mm-hmm. me feel like, yeah. Defensive, what you, saying? you know, yeah. <laughs> the seller or the buyer. Yeah. And, hey Katie, I just, um, I just talked to the seller and that RV garage is in fact 60 feet long. It's not 40 feet long. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if we want to get into that. Soon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's too soon. Yeah. No. <laughs> I, that's my time to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but it, I'm that sorry. That was pre-Sarah. <laughs> yeah. That was pre-Sarah. So, all right. So let's, let's back that up real, uh, real quick. So, um, that's a funny thing. Uh, maybe it's not funny for you and I don't know how it's that hilarious. turned out. So, um, did. yeah. Uh, for those who are watching and for Sarah, if you don't know this story. So, uh, sold a, I had a listing a couple years ago Ann and Katie brought the buyer and, um, closed on the house. Everything was great. I thought, <laughs> um, when I took the listing in our listing paperwork, um, for all the detail sheets and stuff that Nancy had at the time, it asked like, uh, shop size, you know, square, square footage. It didn't say, I can't remember if it says square footage or if it said like dimensions or something like that. But I asked the seller and the seller was like, Oh, that's 60 feet long by 30 feet wide or something like that. I'm like, okay. And I wrote it down, you know, and then we put it into the deal. Nobody ever said anything about it. And then we closed. And then I got a letter from you guys Mm -hmm. that came from the seller that apparently, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but apparently he bought an RV with the assumption that the RV garage was 60 feet long. Oh. And in fact, the entire building is 60 feet long. However, there <laughs> is a shop in the back of that building that takes up 20 feet or something of it. And he, and then there's like a loft that hangs over the top in that shop. Yeah. And he bought a 38 foot or something RV or something like that after the fact and didn't measure. It and so, fit. yeah, and it wouldn't fit. And he <laughs> yeah. had to tear out the loft. Yeah, And I don't ever Oops. know what happened yeah. with that. But yeah. how was yeah. that resolved? We're not going to talk about how it was resolved, but <laughs> but, but what I will say, but what I will say is that you know these experiences are so great because you learn from them, right? Absolutely. So now in all of our listings, because of that experience, you know we don't we don't put measurements in there anymore, mm-hmm. and it's a protection to our seller. Like you don't want to advertise that. You just it's a large shop. Yeah. And then let buyer them, to do, let do buyer to do. <laughs> um, bring your tape measure. Um, yeah. Bring your tape measure exactly, yeah. and maybe yeah. measure before you buy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, And if you really want to know how I feel about it, it like hurt me. Oh, it's so to tell painful. you like buyer to do due diligence, Katie. Right. I'm so yeah. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, like it hurt my soul. No, it's like, so good. Yeah. This, these are the these are the things, and well, and I think these are the things that make great agents are when they can go through these situations and they can say, okay, what can I learn from this? Mm-hmm. Right? Because we're always learning something. Right. And this idea that we know everything and we've got this all figured out is just 
it's I'm gonna use a bad word. It's 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 just it's crap. It doesn't work. Crap. So that's it. That's yeah, all you that's, got. That's my bad word. But yeah. it's, you know, I, I don't I all of these experiences that we go through, I don't have any that I feel like, you know, bad about. I just they're learning experiences, mm -hmm. you know. So some hurt a little worse than others. Well, some but, I, some yeah. I cry <laughs> over a little more than others, but at the end of the day, we're we're learning constantly. Mm -hmm. And right. the moment you think that you don't have anything else to learn or you've got this all figured out, get ready 